Hey y'all, listen, I'm gonna try not to keep y'all long, but I had to get on here and tell y'all, which you probably already know, but I'm gonna tell you just for confirmation that when you are shining, I'm shining, we are shining with the light of God, right? He's shining in and through us. And because of that, God is releasing his knowledge to the people. And when God's knowledge is released, that means what? His people are being set free, delivered, and pulled out of captivity. How do I know this? Because God's word says this. He said, those that lack knowledge and have no knowledge, he said that they perish and that they are placed in captivity. Well, when God is shining his light through us, like I said before, and God is releasing knowledge, that means what? That's no longer the case. And therefore God is pleased. Why? Because now we're letting the light shine. Isn't that what God told us to do? He said, therefore, let your light shine among men so that they may see the work and glorify God, right? God is pleased and therefore that's a beautiful thing. But guess who does not like it? The enemy doesn't like it. The enemy does not like that God's light is shining through you. And I'm here to tell you today to continue shining. I'm gonna tell you like God told Jeremiah, okay? Do not be afraid of their faces because here's the, here's the deal. Whenever the enemy sees God's light shining through you or shining through me, then what he does, he will begin to try to intimidate you through people, through their looks, okay? Through their reactions, through their, 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 their responses and whatnot and their reactions. He'll try to intimidate you, but I'm telling you like God told Jeremiah, do not be afraid of their faces. Here's one thing you have to remember. You know, if you go outside, and the sun is shining super bright, you have to adjust to the sun. Why? Because you don't have the authority to adjust the sun. You don't have the authority to say, okay, son, I'm going to turn you down a little bit. You're a little bit too bright. No. Why? Because God has given the sun a commandment to shine. And when God gives the sun a, a commandment, a calling to do, it has to stay. It has to complete it, right? That's why God said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall remain. Well, God told the sun to shine, and no matter how bright it is, it's not going to stop shining. It's not. So we end up adjusting. Either one, we put on some shades, trying to block out the light, the brightness, or we'll do what? We'll flee. We'll go back in the house. That's where the enemy is right now. The enemy sees you shining. And he knows he cannot turn down God in you. He cannot turn down the son of God in you, the Jesus in you, the light in you. He cannot turn that down. So what he's having to do is adjust, okay? He's having to adjust, but while he's adjusting, he's upset. So what he's going to do, he's going to cause people to give you a stank squint, okay? Let me um, help you to understand even clear. Some of you all who are shining, Matter of fact, all of you all who are shining with the light of God, I don't know if you've noticed it or not, or maybe you have, that there are certain people, and the enemy does not care who he used, whether it's your family members, your neighbors, your co-workers, okay? It could be strangers in the grocery store, people you don't even know from a can of beans, okay? They will begin to look at you with a stank squint like this. Just like how you'll look if you, if you go outside and the sun too bright. They just got this look. And you're trying to figure out, did I say something wrong? Did I rub them the wrong way? Did I step on their feet? Did I skip them in the grocery line? Why are they looking at me like that? It's not them. Remember God said we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? But against powers, right? That's what, that's what God is saying. God is saying that it's not them. It's the enemy. And the enemy got them looking at you like, just like you did something to them. Like you've offended them. But really, you are bringing terror to the enemy because he cannot stand the light that you are presenting right now. He does not like the light. He doesn't know whatsoever because he knows the light represents him fleeing. Anytime the light comes on, darkness has to flee. So that's why he's squinting. He's trying to adjust. He's like, turn that light down. I can't walk over there because you over there. Can you go somewhere else? That's where he is right now. And if you're not getting the stank squint, then you will encounter a eerie stare. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me tell you. It will be as if the person has left their body and the enemy has entered in 
And now you can see this wicked, evil spirit looking out of them, looking at you. And it's not like a stare to make you feel comfortable. It's not like, you know how somebody there, they adore you or they are like just just uh, uh, astonished of how good of a person like they may be saying oh she's such a sweet person he's such a sweet person oh they're so handsome they're so beautiful they're just so kind and so they look at you and they're like that's 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 something good right there but the wicked when that evil spirit is looking out of that individual it's a there's no facial expression you can be um, at the restaurant out with friends, right? Cutting up your steak and you eating and you still having to look up and there, there's that evil spirit look, uh, looking out. Your friend looking at you. And you don't know what to say because they're not budging. You're moving. You see them looking at you just. That's the wicked spirit. It is. It's evil. And it's saying, why are you so bright? Why are you interfering? Why, why are you here? Sounds like the demon that was speaking out of the man when he saw Jesus, the light. He said, why are you here to terrorize me? What did I do? Jesus is like, dude, oh, what? Huh? Jesus didn't, didn't even say nothing. But by him being present, by the light being present, it calls terror to the enemy. That's why God said that the demons tremble at the name of who? Of Jesus. Jesus is the light. The word sent. The word brings light. That's a beautiful word that I learned you guys from prophet Elias. Lovey Elias. When he made that so plain I got super duper excited because I said it makes so sense. God said that. God is the light of the world. His word bring forth the light. So when you are being used by God to allow his light to shine in and through you, you will see the enemy manifesting through looks, through stares, and through shade. Because shade is, like I say, trying to block the light out. And what the enemy does for shade, he'll try to uh, put a taint on your name, on your integrity, on your character, which means what? He tried to deflect. Say, don't look at me. Look at her. Let's let's make her look like she false. Let's make him look like he's false. Let's, let's make them look bad. They try to dim God's light in you by trying to make you look bad. But God said it ain't gonna work anyway. It's not gonna work anyway. So listen, as God said, as He said to Jeremiah, don't be afraid of their faces. Don't be afraid. You just keep shining. Just remember, you are the sun. Not the sun in the sky, but you are the sun. Jesus resides within, and therefore the light is within, shining in you. And just like you cannot adjust the sun in the sky, the devil cannot adjust the sun of God in you, Jesus. So you keep shining bright. And let the light shine so that what? The enemy, the devil, will scatter, will flee. That's what God said in Deuteronomy 28. He said the enemy will come in one way and flee seven ways. That sounds like roach behavior to me. I don't know about y'all, but I know about roaches. How? Because when I was growing up, our family lived in an apartment complex. Our house was clean, but our neighbors not so. So our neighbors had roaches and every once in a while their roaches would come over to our apartment and introduce themselves and say, hey, how y'all doing? Well, here's the thing. We wouldn't even know they're there until nighttime. Why? Because we would be in the living room watching a movie and my mom or dad would say, hey, listen, go and get me a cool glass of water or go and get me a snack out of the pantry. And so the kitchen lights are off. So once we walk in the kitchen, we turn the light on and here are all these roaches on the counter just scattering and we're saying mom dad it's roaches in here and then they have to call the exterminator but that's what happens to the enemy when light is present he has to scatter he can't stay light and darkness do not dwell when lightness shows up darkness has to flee 
that reminds me of Psalms um, 18, how God said he will, he, he will release his arrows and scatter the enemy. When God shows up, the enemy scatters. And that's why you are a threat to the enemy. You are a terror to the enemy. Because when he sees you walking bold, when he sees the light of God shining through you and shining through me, he knows that his time has come to be defeated. He knows that he cannot stay in the presence of God. He knows it. So that's why he will cause all types of distraction. And if he can distract or cause any type of intimidation in any shape, form, or fashion, even by facial looks, by stank look, or blank, eerie, creepy stare, he'll do it because he wants to second guess you. He wants you to think that you don't have the power, but the power is in you because the light is shining. Continue shining. Remember, you won't adjust. The enemy will. Now he knows when light comes, he has to flee. I hope y'all got this. But if you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply it to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Continue shining so that the enemy, he shall flee.